Hey y'all, it's Crystal. Welcome, welcome back. Thanks so much for stopping in. Today we're gonna do a tag. Yes, we're gonna do the book to movie adaptation tag. I was tagged by Criminali. Thank you, Ollie, for tagging me. And this tag was created by Michael Romeo Talks Books. He has a wonderful channel. I will, of course, link them both below. So let's just dig right into it. Number one, what movie or TV series was better than the book that it was based on? And I went with Hellraiser, based on the uh, book by Clive Barker, Hellbound Heart. I really like Hellbound Heart, but I really love Hellraiser. <laughs> Maybe because I saw the movie first. You know, sometimes that can, you know, affect how you feel one way, you know, about the movie or the book. Um, but, but yeah, I love Hellraiser. It's one of my favorite horror movies ever. And there's just something about actually seeing, I think, the Cenobites that just kind of tipped the movie up a little, a little bit better over the book. And I kind of like the changes that they did with the, with the, um, with the movie as far as some things with Kirsty and things. So, um, yeah, I like Hellraiser a bit better than Hellbound Heart. Though Hellbound Heart is a hell of a good story too. So I went with that one. Okay, number two, the your um, my least favorite, of course, adaptation. And I am still very, very mad and upset about the new uh, mini series of The Stand that came out. Is that was that last year now or year before? What is time? We don't know. Um, I was so looking forward to uh, kind of updated version of the of this story. It's one of my favorite books. I really love The Stand. Love the characters. And so I was kind of looking forward to, you know, yeah, just kind of updating it and seeing what they were going to do with it. You know, just, just seeing. Um, they really missed the mark on this one. Um, they put too much focus onto Harold. Um, the characterization of the of Trash Can Man was highly offensive. Um, and I just hated it. I flippin' hated it. How do you mess up a story like that so badly? It was atrocious, and um, I ended up just hate watching it by the end. Yeah, it was bad. It was very bad. I'm still, I'm still just really upset. Okay, number three. What book would you like to uh, see made into a movie or a TV series? And I got two answers because I, I couldn't narrow it down any further. So I have recently read Orcs and Crake by Margaret Atwood. I would love to see this. I think I'm, I think, um, well, it is a three book series. So either like a movie series or maybe a mini series, but I think a movie, I think you could probably capture all of this in, in a movie, you know? Um, but of course a mini series, you could really get into the nitty gritty, but I think either one, I think you could, you know, you could really do it really well. Um, this is a sort of dystopian, um, post-apocalyptic, end, end of the world book. Not really dystopian, more post-apocalyptic. Um, and we're following this guy named Snowman, as he is maybe the last person left on the, on the planet. I don't know. Um, and I just, I really loved this book. And I, I think it would be really cool to see adapted because of how... The, the you know the kind of scenery of the world is has changed and um, you know abandoned buildings and all that kind of thing. I just think it, I think it could be visually really cool. And then the like children of Crake, I think I would love to see how they visualize them. So um, I think this would be great. And of course, I just if someone could adapt um, the Broken Earth trilogy, please, because I love this series. <laughs> And I would love to see it adapted into, oh my God, I just would love it. I think it would be amazing um, visually with the, the landscapes, uh, the, the look of some of the people uh, in here. Um, oh my God, can we not? I just, it just would be amazing. Now, who would be the main character? Because it does, I think it says uh, cast. Now, in this one, I don't really know who would be Snowman. Um, I didn't think about the answer to that. I do apologize. I don't know. I'll have to think about that a little bit more. But anyway, I think Viola Davis would make a hell of a, of a uh, main character here as we follow Nassine. Um, 
I think she would be wonderful because she is um, a kind of middle-aged woman. Uh, the, uh, one of the characters in here, our more main character, yeah. Um, Alabaster, I don't know. But I think Layla Davis would be pretty kick-ass. Okay, let's move on. Number four, what movie or series deterred you from reading the book? I mean, kind of with the classic here, um, Dr. Zhivago. Um, this the uh, book was written by Boris Pasternak. Uh, Dr. Zhivago, the movie. I've watched it in a long time, but it's a really good movie, and I, um, I, I think the movie's fine. I, I, I I've got the story. I don't really need to read the book. Uh, I'm not really interested. I don't think in reading the book. Um, I'll just watch the movie over and over again. Though it's been so many years since I've watched that movie, but. Oh, it's really good, isn't it? Any Dr. Shabaga fans? <laughs> good number five, what is your favorite adaptation? I mean, let's just go for the gut punch here. I went, I have two answers for this one also. Um, the Green Mile by Stephen King. Wonderfully adapted into a movie. Um, it was just so well done. And I recently read the book like a month or two ago now, I can't remember. And the book was wonderful too. And I think they really captured the book in that movie. Um, it's just, it was just so good. It's just so good. And it's so heartbreaking and yeah, it's so good. How good is Sam Rockwell on that? Oh, it, it Percy Whitmore, that character, oh, it's so good. Um, but also I really, I really liked The Watchmen, the movie when it came out. Um, the, the comic is, you know, classic now and it is so good. And um, you know, it was a big deal when they made that movie. Of course, some people didn't like it, but I thought they did a, a really good job at capturing the kind of essence of the story, the essence of the characters. And I, thought, I really liked that movie. I just, um, I need to rewatch that. It's been a little while. My gosh, I thought they did such a good job with that, with, with, you know, the breadth of that <laughs> graphic novel, the, the stuff, the, the weight of that, and of course the pressure of having to adapt that one, you know. Um, I just thought they did wonderful, and I really enjoyed it. So, okay, number six, what previously adapted book would you like to see remade and improved? Um, so I went and and it's because my husband brings it up every now and then is that he would like to see a remake of Logan's Run. Uh, this was came out in 1976 and it was a, a book but uh, written by William F. Nolan though I've, I've never read it but maybe I should but um I think it'd be, it, Logan's Run is a really good movie but it's a bit dated. I think it would be really wonderfully uh updated with like today's like technology with you know computer stuff and even just just the way the movies are made now you know um i think it would be really good to see that one updated um it's a it's it's good Logan's Run's good but it, i think it would be really good to remake that one and there have been some things that i had been wanting to be remade that have been remade recently which i'm really excited about like interview with a vampire um i'm not a fan of the movie um a lot of the things are miscast particularly louis i just um also um there was something else i want to be remade now i've forgotten i didn't write it down anyway it went out of my brain so anyway uh number seven what book series made into a movie or or a tv series is your personal favorite so we're talking about book series um i mean lord of the rings right those movies were fantastic I remember when they came out my husband and i went to see them and i hadn't read the books actually when they came out i wasn't one of those that read lord of the rings as like some people read them you know as like a teenager or something like that i never read lord of the rings um but um my husband had and he loved it was really excited about the movie so okay I, you know i was got me really excited about the movies and um so we went to see them and gosh i mean they, they're they were so good they were so wonderful so really captured the epicness of the stories i thought it was really well cast i thought it was well written the beautiful effects the oh it was just amazing you know 
the costumes. Uh, everything looks good about Lord of the Rings, right? So, um, so yeah. I'm going, with, I'm going with that one. Okay, the next one is to tag some people. Um, I think about some people. This has been making the rounds, so I don't know. I'm going to tag Jason over at Jason's Red Reads. Be interested in your question and your answers. Um, anyone else who likes to do it, <laughs> um, you tag your it if you would like to do it. So, yes, thanks so much for watching. That was a fun tag, Michael Romeo. Thank you for making that tag, and thank you, Ollie, again for tagging me. Uh, and uh, thank you for watching. I always appreciate it. I appreciate your time. And uh, till next time, my friends. Bye-bye.